Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am here with another great Dollar Tree haul. You know it's one of my favorite things to do. I love showing you how to save money. That's the reason I do it. I do my trivia at the end of all my videos. If you've been following me, you know that. If you haven't, hit subscribe, hit the bell so we can stay connected. Leave me a comment and I will come to your videos too. So I'll still be doing the trivia, but I'm doing something a little different on this one. At the end of this haul, I will be doing shout outs from the last Dollar Tree haul I did a couple of weeks, about a week and a half, two weeks ago, where I asked people to answer the trivia. And the people that actually answered the trivia, I decided in this video, I'm going to do a special shout out to them by naming their channel on my on my haul. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos to the end. And that's what I hope you're doing. Obviously, I have no way to prove that you're not just jumping to the end. But, you know, if you're really loyal, you'll watch it to the end. So I'm going to be shouting out the people in the last, my last Dollar Tree haul that actually answered the trivia question. I'm just going to say their name, their channel, and then everybody could go follow them because they're loyal. That means they're great. And everybody who's watching who didn't answer the trivia, that's okay too. too. I just wanted to give them a little special love for going that extra mile and staying to the end and watching the, um, and listening to my question and then answering it. Anyways, let's just get into this haul. I'm going to start off with my favorite thing, which is what I always do in my, in my Dollar Tree hauls. Last week, when I did my last haul, you'll notice that I showed the box of cereal, Kellogg's, Fruit Loops. Full-size box that you buy in the grocery store that costs $4. Okay, well, I found some more cereal, and it's got to be my favorite thing because, to me, it's one of my big money savers, the biggest money saver because this is a family-sized box of cereal, which is $5.99 in the grocery store for $1. So let me show you right now. The first one I want to show you is my regular-sized peach Cheerios. This one is the 10.8 ounce box, a full box, limited edition peach Cheerios. That is Cheerios. Look, General Mills Cheerios. One dollar. If you have kids, if you love cereal, why spend the four dollars that this costs in the grocery store? This is Cheerios, peach, limited edition, still good. So that's one. I had to show that. Now this is a really big find because this one is family size, 19.8 ounces by General Mills. It's another Cheerios, but it's the maple flavored Cheerios um, with whole grain oats, gluten free, 19.8 ounces, family size. This one is huge, huge, one dollar. And you see up here? Family size, General Mills right there. Come on, get into this. You guys are really, really going to be able to save money if you buy this stuff and stop going to the regular grocery store for your cereal. Some people are single parents, got one, two, three kids, four ki kids. You, you don't need to spend that kind of money. I got another family size cereal by General Mills. So we're talking name brand. I love corn checks, rice checks, everything checks. This is another new flavor, family size box, 20.3 ounces. So it's even bigger than that family size box. Gluten free, blueberry corn checks. These are my look. You can't even get it into the into the frame. Look at this, blueberry corn checks, blueberry checks by General Mills. This is the biggest box I've ever seen, 20.3 ounces. This one is 19.8, so this one is even bigger than that. Now, come on. If you're wondering, what is she going to do with all that cereal? It's just her and her husband. I know a lot of young girls at my job who are single parents, three kids, four kids, five kids. I brought in the dollar cereals to them, the name brand dollar cereals, and gave them to them, and they are going crazy. They love it. So I will always put this to you. So I will probably be doing that with this again because it's a lot of cereal. But I had to show you guys so you could save money. So that is my top favorite thing. Now, let's see what else I got in the food department. I like the little snacks. And this one is by Lunchable. And I thought it would be interesting for you guys. This one is dirt cake. It's chocolate cookie crumbs, frosting, and gummy worms. And you kind of dip it into each one. But it's by Lunchable. So I thought that was kind of cute. 
You can get that for your kids. Good deal. They can take it to school, whatever. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. But I thought, hmm, it's by Lunchables. So they have dirt cake and they also have cookie dunks. It is mini chocolate chip cookies, marshmallow cream, and sprinkles. So that's the other one, by Lunchable. You see that up top? And this one is 1.5 ounces. It also has three compartments. By Lunchable, name brand. I just wanted to show you guys, hey. Oh, let me show you what else I got. It's not necessarily food, but it's in that same area. I have these 17-piece coverets. So you cover the bowls with them. So I have four small, seven medium, and six large by Shore Fresh. So if you want your bowls, whatever you have, you got to put in the refrigerator in a bowl, you want it to stay fresh, they have covers for them. I just thought that was really practical. I like little gidgy gadgy things like this. So I thought that was cool. Let's take one out. This is the cover up. Oh, look at that. The box opens up special so that you can get to it. And they have all different sizes. Let's see what one looks like. Now, so it looks like a shower cap, actually. But this is what you have. All different sizes. So you just pop it right on top of the bowl. Excuse me. <coughs> right on top of the bowl. See? Little, little covers. Covers for your food. Or, if you don't want to use it for that, use it as a shower cap. <laughs> But it's 17 pieces in there, all different sizes. Too silly. Oh, and another thing I got in the kitchen type area is pat patty paper squares. You can you can put this paper between hamburger patties if you buy if you buy the uh, big pack of hamburger and you make the patties yourself like I do. You season them all up. I get them all ready: onions, peppers, everything. Eddie Murphy burger, whatever you want to call it. But you and then I freeze them. But I never have the paper in between like you see when you buy the frozen pack this has a hundred sheets you can use it for cold cuts sliced cheeses steaks chocolates caramel taffy anything that needs to be separated you can use these paper patty paper squares non-stick easy separation of any type of patty see that it's a hundred sheets of those i thought that was pretty cool and then on the back, it gives you a few examples of um, what you can do with it. Really practical. It's, you can separate candles. Wax paper won't stick to taffy or caramel, making a perfect solution for confections, confectioners. So it's a non-stick thing. So whatever you're trying to separate, it won't stick. That was pretty cool. Also, in the kitchen type area, let me make sure. Oh, I have this. Now, I have a cutting board, but they're all small. When we moved here, our big cutting board was missing. I don't want to spend $30 on a cutting board. So when I need a bigger space than the little ones I found that I have, I decided to get a chopping mat. It's 11 inches by 14 inches. You can carve, chop, and craft. It's like a durable cutting board. I thought that was pretty cool. See that? I got it. It's pretty... It's pretty durable. So for a dollar, I don't have to buy the big one that costs thirty dollars because I have the smaller ones. That's good enough. Um, also, a little thing that I thought was practical: paper plate holders, cooking con concept four piece. I always have the plates, paper plates, but you know when you heat them up, it's hot. Well, this is a four piece of that, four piece set. So you put your paper plate on this and then put it in a microwave. So when you take it out. It's not hot. Four pieces. I thought that was kind of cool. In the kitchen area, I thought three ready sets. This is three sets of napkins. If so, if you're doing a wedding or baby shower or some type of event, this napkin set, it comes with three of these ready to go, is, is ready to go. Look at this. I thought that was really cool. It comes with the knife, the, the spoon, and the fork inside of the pockets of the napkin so the person will have everything they need already let's take out one so you can see that there's three sets so this is a pretty durable napkin and then there's two more like it inside i thought that was pretty cool look at that and it looks official 
it's great for a baby shower, birthday party. Give everybody their own napkin in their own place setting. And this one comes with three, three already ready to go. So you get a few packs of those and you're good. Oh, I also got something that, that it was really cute. It's called Lunchbox Notes. For you people that have kids, I don't have little kids here, but I do have my granddaughter and she will be coming to visit. See this? Lunch pack, Lunchbox Notes. That is super cute. Now, have I seen this in other people's hauls? Yes. Have I ever hauled it? No. <laughs> so let me just show you what it is. You, you pack the kids lunch and then you send them to school with a little note. Have a fun day. This one says, you can put what you want on the back, but this says, have a fun day. It's all mixed notes. I, I thought that was kind of creative, and so I liked it. So you got to have a, be brave, you got this, because some kids have a hard time at school. This will just show them that you love them, a little love you, and you are the sweetest. That's cute. This one's blank. You can put whatever you want. And this one, this shape, is this uh, design here is also blank. I just thought that was the cutest little thing and you can put on the, when it says, you, you're you brave, you got this. You just put on the, on the back a little note saying it's from mommy or daddy and saying, telling them you love them and to keep their head up while they're in school because it can be tough in school these days. So this is lunchbox notes. If you have kids, throw one of these in their lunch or in their school bag, just something so they'll feel like the parent is there with them. And if you know me, you know I have a bar. On some of my lives, I showed you guys I have a bar in my house. And so I thought these were cute to put at the bar. They're just napkins, and it says magical butterfly. Really super cute. And I always get their designed um, napkins for my bar because I just think, I don't know, I just like it. <laughs> so moving on. Wait, one last thing for the kitchen area. This is magnet, sticks on your refrigerator, take coffee with you, little coffee notes. It's shaped like a coffee cup. I thought that was cute. And you write your grocery list or whatever you want to write on it. There's a magnet on the back. Put your notes in there and you're good to go. Now, off the kitchen stuff, I only got a few more things, then we'll get to the trivia and the shout out. I hope you guys stick with me. Sorry if it's a little long. I have... By Lip Duo Lipstick and Lip Gloss. This clear gloss on the bottom. And is a colored lipstick on top. Clear and color. So it's a duo. You have both. Let me take it out. See? So if you open this side, that's the lip gloss. You open the other side, that's the lipstick. How cool is that? I thought it was interesting. Thought I'd show y'all that. You know I read I wear reader glasses. So I got two that are really nice. This one is breast cancer awareness. See the little symbol for the breast cancer? If you know, so obviously I have somebody very close to my heart going through that. My mom. I don't know if you guys know that. Um, and then they have this design, which I thought was really cool. It's just like a wood. I thought that's so slick. It's a wood frame. I have a lot of stuff that has the breast, the um, the cancer symbol on it. You know, just because when you live it, you go through it. You know, it's not easy. So I thought that would be a nice way to represent my mom and what she's going through. She's so strong. She's got this. I have, you know, I said I write recipes down every time I see them. I have some of them on cards. So I decided to grab a little index card file box so I can put them in. Nothing big. Just wanted to show y'all that. Oh, and, and I have this laundry guide, which I thought was super cute. It's telling you what temperature, what, what, what um, setting and everything you should have your laundry on, and it comes on a stand. That is, look at the iron, the little iron here. It gives you all the different, um, let me get my glasses. It gives you all the different measurements, <laughs> sizes. So medium water temperature 40 celsius so it's telling you what the temperature should be machine wash machine wash permanent press hard wash do not wash and look at the stand so you can stand it up right on top of your washer for your kids there is no excuse kids you can do laundry <laughs> 
Now let me show you if you know, I don't know, some of you know me, but I have two granddaughters, one 10, one four. I have one on the way. Another one on the way. It's been a while because my youngest is four, but it's not my it's not that son, it's my other son. His daughter will be eleven in, in a couple of weeks, and they are finally having their second baby. So I already sent a whole bag of Elmo goodies from Dollar Tree to them, but I, I grabbed two more um, things from the Dollar Tree that I thought were really cute. And then I'll send the main gift, which is onesies and diapers and all that, but I got the little stuff and sent it out. So these are the fleece blankets for babies. How cute is that? Look at the animals, and it feels so good. And this one has hearts, pink and gray. And this one has the animals, and it's fleece, and it's just so cute. It's, it is a girl, so that's why I got these colors. Now, the, one more thing. I bought a receipt book. Sometimes I write, or if I give somebody something, they always say, I don't have no uh, receipt to give you. Yeah, okay. I got my own. <laughs> I come prepared. Now, the last thing I want to show y'all before I go to my trivia question and my shout out is the wipes. I buy all the wipes for my husband just to let him try them all. So I got some more that I hadn't seen. So let me show you. This is by Driver's Choice. This one is multi-purpose wipes. You can wipe anything with this. 30 count. I thought that was pretty cool. It's 5 by 9 inches by 6 by 7. There's 30, but he can use this on anything. Then I got glass wipes by the same thing. Driver's Choice, same amount. See, this one's for the glass in the car. He's always doing clean, keeping his car clean. Protectant wipes. So this helps keep the like your paint and everything good. Now he's gonna be the one trying these. So wonder if I can get him to, to do a review. Huh. That might be interesting. So this is the protectant wipes. He can try that on his car. And this one is for um, electronics. Helps keep your screen crystal clear and fingerprint free. This one is electronic wipes by E-Circuit. It's 25 in a pack. And see up there it says electronic wipes right there. I am going to let him try all of this. And maybe I could get him to do a uh, review for you guys who are interested. If you've seen anything in my haul that you like, please leave it in the comments. Let me know. I am getting ready to do the trivia question that I picked this time. You remember at the end of my hauls, I always do a trivia question with my with my um, movies, 90s movies that I got from the Dollar Tree a while ago. This time, the question is, here's the question. True or false? Nope, I take that back. Who directed 2004 sports drama Million Dollar Baby starring Hilary Swank? A, Morgan Freeman, B, Clint Eastwood, or C, Robert Redford. One more time. Who directed 2004 sports drama Million Dollar Baby starring Hillary, Hillary Swank? Was it Morgan Freeman, B, Clint Eastwood, or C, Robert Redford? Don't Google it. Try to guess. So that's from my movies. Oh, and by the way, I love doing trivia at the end, but I will be switching it up sometimes just to see if the person is actually watching a video. All right, I'm at 18 minutes. That's the trivia. Answer that. Put it in the comments. Now, this is new to my channel, what I'm going to be doing now, but I really wanted to shout out the people that are watching my videos to the end to answer this trivia question. Last, two weeks ago when I did my last haul, I had a trivia question, so all the people that answered, I am going to shout them out right now. It's a special segment I added to the end of this, because I really appreciate appreciate y'all for even taking the time to answer my trivia question. I love that. I love you guys for that. I love everybody that watches, but the ones who stay to the end and watch and, and answer my trivia question definitely has a special spot in my heart, because that means you're actually watching. You're pulling up a chair and kicking it with me. So here's the, here's the people that answered the question in my last haul. They answered the trivia question. I'm just giving them a shout out to their channel. Hopefully you guys will go over there and connect with them and tell them that you are from, you've seen them from just Teresa's Dollar Tree haul that I was giving them a shout out. So here's the names. Okay, I did that video on the 15th of August 
It got 90 comments, 212 views. Um, and so these are the people that actually answered the question. They're the only ones. It's only 10. So stick around to hear the whole 10. The first one I want to shout out is BNG TV. BNG, the letter G, BNG TV has been in every one of my Dollar Tree hauls. She, her name is Janetta. She has answered, she has watched all the way to the end, and I know she's truthful. She's not skipping around because she always tells me stuff that she's seen that she likes. She is she answers the trivia question on all of my hauls, never mind the one I just did. So I really appreciate her for that. So this one is for BNG TV. Her channel is about food, fitness, lifestyle. She does organizing and cleaning. I love her channel. Sometimes she cooks all kinds of stuff. Janetta, I know you mentioned in your in my last one that you're still looking for this. Well, guess what? Because I love you for always being there on my haul, you're special to me. I picked it up for you. This is for you, BNG TV. Go to my Instagram, just Teresa too, if you haven't already found this. And private message me your address, and I'm going to send this to you just for always being there. Love you. Okay, so she's number one. Um, you know, that I want to shout out. Now, let me shout out other people that answer the question. Nathan T's Halloween um, also answered the, answered the trivia. Shy Town Scratcher. Our Little Ness is another Dollar Tree hauler. She has a great page. She answered the question. Thank you. Angela Ortiz. Shine Tlape. T-L-A-P-E. I will write these names in the um, description box. I don't know if I'm going to um, put the link, because I don't really know how to get the link there, but I will put their name, and y'all just got to type in their name, and it should take you right to the page. No Debt But Love, he also answered the trivia question. Sandra's Halls, she does Dollar Tree Halls, great channel, she answered the question. Tox Twins, JL, is a friend of mine, she's not a creator, but I wanted to shout her out. Thank you, Jean. My really dear friend, Sarah Hyde, she jumps in my lives, but she also answered the trivia. Thank you, Sarah. That's my girl from back in Massachusetts. She's not a creator yet. I am working on her. So go to her channel and follow her, even though she's not creating yet. She will be, hopefully soon. Sarah, love you. Thank you. So those are the people, those are the 10 people I wanted to shout out for answering the trivia question. And the same thing is going to happen this time. If you answer the trivia question that I asked on this one, I'll shout you out in my next upload. Even if it's not a Dollar Tree, I'm shouting you out, period. So that's it. 22 minutes. I don't have anything else I believe that I wanted to say. Thank you for hanging in there if you stayed in there. Thank you guys for coming back. Please hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell because that's how you know I'm uploading. If you're hitting subscribe without the bell... You're never going to see what I put. So hit the bell and let me know that you're there. Leave me comments. I'm going to put these names, the shout outs in the, in, the, um, in the description. If you guys see any of these people, please let them know that I shouted them out. And let me know what you've seen in this haul, whether it's the cereal, the snacks, whatever it is. Let me know what you liked. Thank you again for hanging with Just Teresa. Bye.